and now one of our infrequent and irregular investigations of the social scene. The reporter is Walt Da Costa. From the outside, this looks like an ordinary downtown Toronto nightclub, a popular one, because more often than not, there's a lineup. Inside, at first glance, it also looks like an ordinary nightclub, perhaps because of the theme of the decor, a little bit dingier than usual. There's the standard ingredients. There are 300 seats here, and they are filled every night of the week, weekdays as well as on the weekend. The place fills up at 5 p.m. and stays that way until closing time, 1 o'clock in the morning. Why so popular? Because single girls not only can come in here without escorts, but do. The females come here to meet the males, and the males come because lots of females come in to meet them. This is a dating bar, one of the first and one of the most successful in English-speaking Canada. Quebec has similar operations, but the trend is just starting in the rest of the country. Linda Moore is a 21-year-old office worker at City Hall. She recently broke up with her steady boyfriend. Do you feel nervous about coming to a place like this? I feel a little uncomfortable when I'm walking in. Yes, I Why? do. Why? Because there's a lot of fellas here, and obviously everybody's here to meet people, and everybody's watching the door as people file in. A lot of people don't approve of girls going out without dates to a place where you can drink. The clientele is mostly downtown office workers in the 21 to 35-year-old age bracket, with the emphasis on the under 30s. There is also a smattering of young people who are married, but not necessarily married to each other. We didn't take pictures of that. The mastermind behind it all is Rule Bramer. Is it what uh, really attracts them, the fact that it's a little bit of a meat factory? Girls meet boys and boys meet girls. That's what the people tell me. I guess uh, the people are usually right, aren't they? Maybe this is all a sign of the times, an indication of a more liberal morality. Maybe you could call it a battle that the Women's Liberation Front doesn't have to fight. Maybe it's one answer to a society that seems to be growing more and more impersonal every day. Whatever. It's romance, 20th century style.